Hello everyone, so I'm going to build a house for Mama Murphy. I've had this idea for a while and it was also suggested by these two guys. Thanks boys, I appreciate your suggestions and I hope that you like it. So I'm going to build it between Valentine's office and the town hall building. You know, we like Mama Murphy here. She's like the grandmother of Sanctuary, so we got to take care of her, yeah? You know, grandma's good people. And I thought right here would be the best spot because it's in the middle of the settlement and she's protected. Plus, I'm going to make this into a fortune teller's house called The Sights. Right? Because that's what she calls it when she shoots up some jet and starts bugging the hell out. So, I thought right here would be perfect. It's right here by the marketplace. It's going to have a lot of visitors. It just works out. So, this is going to be a pretty scrappy looking house. I'm, I'm getting towards the end of my sanctuary build. I think I have like four or five more videos. So, I'm going to start building more scrappy looking stuff to bring in that post-apocalyptic vibe a little more. So far, all of my other structures like the factory, the hotel, Valentine's office have all been pretty well put together. Now, it's time to bring it down a little bit, starting with Mom Mall's house. This is a pretty easy build. I really don't need to explain a lot of what I'm doing. It's just four shack foundations and me picking out a few walls. I'm using a mixture of walls from the mods Thematic and Practical, Vanilla Extensions, Workshop Rearranged, and of course some vanilla pieces. I love using Thematic and Practical because it gives us these small door frames that allow us to have a little more control over where the front door is going to be. You know, instead of having a normal sized wall with a door in the middle, it just makes it a little bit easier. And speaking of making things easier, these roofs did not. They were being a bitch. Oh, sorry for the language, Graham Graham. I know, this is your house, no swearing. But the front ones didn't want to work, so I had to snap the wall to the edge of the floor, then snap the roof to the wall, and then push the wall back in. And you see, it worked out, but I cut out a lot of the frustration. Except for this part. I mean, just watch this, watch. Just, just do it. Just snap. Get out of here, Preston! Yep. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Now to place down some posts because it wouldn't be a cordless house build without a front porch. I, I just like porches, man. I think they look cool, so you know, just leave me alone. Dude, we are just flying through this. I told you, it's a pretty easy build, but I think it turns out pretty cool. I think Nana is really going to like it. We're going to split her house in half, so one side is going to be where she sleeps and has a little kitchen, and the other side is where she fortune tells, right? Tell some fortune by doing some drugs. Yes, I'm completely aware that I am enabling Gam Gam's addiction, but you know, it, it makes her happy, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Oh, right here, the roofs are a little too see-through, so I'm putting in some warehouse floors to cover that up. Workshop rearranged and also vanilla extensions makes the snapping system so much better, which is why I'm able to snap in floors like that. And it also helps out with the walls, so when you use outer caps, you can get flat walls like these wood walls and snap them right in front. That way, you don't have to deal with that weird angle that you get from the outer caps. It just makes decorating the walls a little bit easier. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to do is place down some junk fences. These are going to add a little bit more protection and I just think they look cool. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you never see my objects turn red to where I can't place them down anymore, right? Have you noticed that? The reason why is because on PC, they have a mod called Place Everywhere, not Place Anywhere. It essentially does the same thing, but it functions slightly different. So with Place Anywhere, you have to place the object down first before you can place it anywhere. With Place Everywhere, you, can, you don't have to do that. You can just place it down wherever. But the outcome is the same with both mods. Place Anywhere just has an extra step. Whew, that was a fun explanation. But yeah, so we're going to have a garden up front when Grammy wants to take a break from the Kims. And... Oh, right, so a surprising number of you are fascinated by where my settlers drop a deuce. Like, I always get those comments, where's the bathroom? I don't see a bathroom, it's missing a bathroom. So here, look. Here it is. Here's where Meemaw shits, alright? Everybody happy? But that is it for the build. We did that in like, what, four minutes? Uh, of course the video was sped up, but still. I don't show the decoration process because that takes so long and you guys can pretty much see what I did during the tour. It's essentially picking out stuff and placing them down. Structure-wise, I added a cloth wall, which we get from the Vanilla Extensions mod, and another door frame, the same kind that I used earlier. So yeah, thanks for watching up to this point. Now here's the tour.
Alright, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check out this next video, which YouTube suggested solely for you, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.